Pokemon here at St. Clair this weekend. And now I'm going to look over at the 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 weather setters and the answers to maybe some of the fields. And it looks like we're not going to have any uh, fields here. We're just going to have the sun from Coridon's over Calcum Pulse. And there's nothing to get rid of that on the side of Patrick. So Coridon Rishi is going to have an amazing time here. Yeah, no Incineroars, no Amoongus is here today. So we... Uh... Well, there is a Rillaboom on the side of Rishi. There is a Rillaboom on the side of Rishi. Again, no Incineroar, no Amoongus, so it's going to be a much slower battle here today. Yes. Or not, no, I think it'll be a faster battle because we yes. don't have that Spore and we don't have the Intimidate and the Switching. And we don't have the swap outs back and forth to try and get the right weather conditions. The Pelipper is not here with the Wide Guard. It's going to be a very clean game of Pokemon. It's just going to be trading blows back and forth, you know, protecting a much status... <laughs> the less status reliant game. Yeah. So we'll have to see what happens here as we get into the first battle with Gothitelle and Coridon taking the field versus. As I get confused by names here, as we see the Ice Rider and the Smeargle. Yeah, the Ice Rider and the Smeargle are out here, or Calcum Pulse in full effect, but now we might see the Terra Fire from the Calyrex. But. With this Goth Gothitelle, this is the lineup we're locked into. The Shadow Tag, no one able to tear a ghost out of here. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if we do see the tear fire just off the bat, as you can't switch out. They'll go for the Trick Room, which is an interesting play, as that Gothitelle does have Taunt, I believe. I think it does have Taunt, so... It does have Taunt, so it could block play. that Trick Room. Yeah, I wonder what Richie will answer here on the Coridon, because could go for the collision course, which is the guaranteed damage, but you could also risk the flame charger flare. Oh, Crydon's bullets. just leaving. Crydon's, Crydon's getting that town. And in comes Rotom Heat. Interesting. Really committing to the fire here, but it also gives him some uh, flexibility here because he also has the Volt Switch if it's not a great matchup. And he has that Thunderbolt to try and fish for those paralysises. Yeah, we won't see the... Again, that overheat's not going to do much now that we have the Terra Fire up, so we probably see a Volt Switch. There's the Fake Out into the Gothitelle. Trick Room will go up. Now Gothitelle does not have Trick Room of its own, so we will be stuck in Trick Room, and now the Glacial Lances will start swinging. Exactly, but it's not going to be very effective against this Heat Rotom. It'll still do good damage because he's not a very tanky Pokemon, but it's not going to blow right through. We're not going to get a Chilling Nay right off the bat. No, I think it will be a two-hit knockout on both of these Pokemon at least. So we'll have to see what happens. You just commit to the Trick Room and just try and do as much damage as possible. Probably fearing from a foul play from that Gothitelle. I don't think Smeargle really has a ton of damaging options. It doesn't. I don't think it has any damaging options. It has a fake out, but that's already been used here. That's all the damage this Smeargle is going to do. It's going to go for, I think, a Decorate here. Yeah, so that's the thing with Smeargle. Smeargle is such a powerful Pokemon, but if you can avoid it, it's not going to do anything to you. We are going to see the Terra come out here into the Gothitelle. Go into the Terra Dark to get that power-boosted Foul Play and try and one-shot that Ice Rider. That's going to be the play for today for Rishi. That's why he brought it here. The Glacial Lens is going to come through. Let's see if they mention oh. the Gothitelle. One HP, a critical hit. That's absolutely devastating. Decorate coming through. And now, look at that. Attack rose sharply. A beautiful play by this Miracle. Yeah, Decorate is such a powerful move. There's the Volt Switch. Doesn't do a ton of damage, but will it be enough for Fake Out or for Foul Play to one shot now with the Dark Boost and the Double Attack Boost? Foul Play's going to do a lot here. I'd be very scared to see it happen. There's the Ting Lu. And going in here. And what is this Ting Lu built like? We've been seeing the Sand Tomb. This Ting Lu is going to be that stopping tantrum fissure. Foul play, it doesn't live, it lives on three HP! Yeah, this is a very risky move. This Gothel's sure to fall and Ting Lu also being threatened here as well. Yeah, I think that might have been a roll. Living on three HP. That is, if that is not a roll. Wow. All the follow me as well. It's going to be absolutely disastrous. No spread moves on the field right now. No, this is going to be a plus two Gracial Lance coming out, and that might have won the game for Patrick this early. 
We're seeing this swap out into the Rotom, trying to tank that hit. Maybe outlast this Trick Room with a, a, a tanky play, but it's not going to go very well. There's the Glacial Lance. There it is. Wow, Rotom lives! Rotom lives, but Tiglu goes down, and now we have a plus three Calyrex on the field. I do believe that Ice Rider is slower, though, than that Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat does have Protect. You could stall out for another turn. Yeah, I think stall is the play here. This Goth still it has Protect as well, so they could both try and ride out one more turn, try and ride out this Trick Room. Yeah. We actually may just see the protect protects all around. Everyone just oh, Gothel also f putting fake out pressure right now. It does have fake out pressure, and that fake out pressure would be enough to actually knock off Bordeaux here, the Calyrex. Yeah, the Calyrex already being threatened with a KO. You have to really consider your options carefully. And the Shadow Tag makes it unable to switch out. It has to go for a protect here. So everything's got to stay in. That's incredibly scary. Not sure how many turns of Trick Room are left. Gothitelle actually leaving the field. Wow. So I wonder if we're going to see a Volt Switch from Rotom here. To put back in Gothitelle to fake out next turn. Potentially. That could be an amazing game-winning play right there. There it is! Once again, the fake out. Going to be forced if this is a Volt Switch. Oh, the score. Spore. Spore on Rotom. Gothitelle is not coming in next turn. If it is, it is going to go down. Now Rotom fell asleep, and now it's just going to be the Coridon. This is absolutely imperative that these Pokemon try and outlast it. This Rotom is assuredly going down if it's not switched out. This Coridon could protect, though, and continue to stall out these Trick Rooms. Yeah, you really got to stall Trick Room at this point. Coridon is switching out. I think Gothel is going to come back in here, yep. but I don't think Gothel survives the next Icicle Lance that is coming through. Rodom is still sleeping. Nope, unless somehow this <laughs> it won't miss at this point. There's the Glacial there Lamp, and one, and two. Two chilling nays going the way of Calyrex is going to be absolutely massive. I think, what is this now, plus four? Yeah. Plus five? I think we're plus five at this point on Calyrex. So really now, all that's left is Crydon, and Crydon has no priority, and Spriggle is still alive. We're oh, sure, let's wow. go to plus six, why not? <laughs> Just max it out at this point. Yeah. There it is, rising sharply, as sunlight has faded. We'll be right back the up. Trick Room goes away. But now, there's a lot of pressure here for both players. Well, Crydon is going to be moving first. Right, but you have Follow Me. You do have Follow Me. Maybe you could try and make a play here. Hope you can take out this uh, this Smeargle in one clean hit. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think that was a pretty safe win for Pat for Patrick there. What an absolutely insane performance. Making that deck rate, making those Glacial Lances, living on 3 HP. If Calyrex had gone down there, that could have been a totally different gameplay. But if you're Rishi, you have to know that you probably did get the knockout there. In any other circumstance, you probably have a knockout there. So do you stick with the same strategies or do you change it up slightly? I think you might change it up slightly. I think the Tinglu didn't get the value it needed there. Maybe... I don't know. Tinglu's probably the best pick, though, out of the rest of them. Because Fluttermane, I don't know if that... Maybe can just go raw damage and try and burst through that Calyrex. But Rillaboom, it's going to be... I don't know. It's not yeah. not the best choice, either. I think Tinglu, that Fissure Pressure, is, is very good as well. The no. only problem is, is it weak to ice. Yeah, I don't think you want to bring out Rillaboom here. As you don't want to give that Calyrex that passive healing from Grassy Train. So it's really dangerous to try and bring out Rillaboom. I think you have to look at your other... You also know it's Terra Fire. So that Terra Fire is going to be super impactful and block really Rillaboom from doing anything in this matchup. Yeah, this is looking to be very, very explosive going into the next match. These are such close matches, just being decided by these small little EV spreads living on through HP. Even rolls, if you are correct there, Eric. Like, this is absolutely insane. That Calyrex, if it was knocked out right there, would have had an entirely different game on our hands. Oh, the battle would have completely flipped in the favor of Rishi there. I think what's interesting to note is we are seeing why Calyrex is the most played restricted Pokemon here at St. Clair this weekend. We have seen it with the Terra Grass, the Terra Water, and now the Terra Fire to complete that 
that starter tr typing trio. <laughs> so that's the thing is, it is such a versatile Pokemon. I mean, we're seeing Urshifu is always running Terra Ghost. We're seeing most Pokemon stick to one Terra type, but this Calyrex is saying, I can be a multitude of different Terra types and still find success. Yeah, exactly. I think people are just looking for defensive typings and certain people prefer certain matchups, right? And I think the fire is definitely a strong one because you don't lose out to that Maraidon, which we've seen win twice in a row now. Yeah. So we're starting here with the same lead for Patrick. I don't disagree with this lead. This lead was super impactful. And Rotom and Gothitel coming out. Well, last time he did have that Coridon out here. So yeah. he's not going to have the sun going in on this Rotom, but he does have the flexibility of that Bolt Switch. I think if you're Rishi, you really have to look at Smeargle and say, it doesn't do damage, but it is so annoying and detrimental to my team without with the lack of spread moves on the team. Yeah, but there's not going to be too much you can do this turn. It's going to have Fake Out at the ready to go. Yeah, I think you have to Fake Out Gothitelle. You can't let Gothitelle fake you out or taunt you or set up Trick Room in any form or manner. Yeah, and there's the Terra Fire out of the gate, just getting rid of that Ice weakness. And now it's going to be very tough to take that down. That's, I think that's why he brought the team with That's going to be one of the few things that's going to be able to shut down this Fire type. Yeah, there is the fake out from Gothitelle, so actually going to shut down the Calyrex, and the fake out goes out onto Gothitelle. So Gothitelle was slightly faster, which makes a world of a difference. Trick Room does not go up, so we're already seeing a difference in game plan here. Exactly, and now the Smeargle, one turn away from being taken down, even, I think maybe an, even a Volt Switch could take it down at this point. That'd be a great dynamic play for Rishi. Yeah, I think if you're Patrick, you know you probably can't click Trick Room as if you get taunted. Now you've wasted two turns as Calyrex and you don't want that to happen. No, so you have sir. to find something here. So I would assume we just see the Glacial Lance come out. I think you're correct. I think we'll just see that Glacial Lance, that consistent damage is what you need at this point. But I don't think it's going to take anything out this turn. Like without the Decorate from the Smeargle, it's not going to be doing that lethal damage just yet. Yeah. Something no interesting to note about Patrick's or Ice Rider here is it's also running close combat instead of stomping Tantra. Maybe Patrick does not want to have the chance of missing any moves, so it is doing just the full out attack mode. Smeargle is taunted though, and most of it kit, all of its kit is non-damaging moves, so that's actually a beautiful play. Yeah, so Smeargle now forced to retreat, forced to switch out, we'll can't. see what else. It can't because of Shadow Tag. It can't, oh yeah, Smeargle It's just, just dead in the water. Struggle. Beautiful play by Rishi, forcing him to have a useless Pokemon on the field. As long as he can keep it up with his Tingler, you have to eat a Glacial Lance, and it just barely manages to scrape by. Yeah, both Pokemon survive. But now that Calyrex doesn't have Trick Room up, I mean, Smeargle can't do anything. Smeargle is going to have to struggle. It can Fake Out. It's actually forced to Fake Out as a damaging move, even though Fake Out <laughs> won't work. So it's actually doing less than struggle. Yeah, it's just gonna stay there. At least it's not taking. Actually, it's even worse. It can't even struggle itself out of the game now. It's gonna be no, locked it in is here. Forced to sit. Sonic Tantrum does not get the knockout. Leaves it at just under half. Glacial Lance into the Ting Lu. It's gonna definitely be a knockout right here, and we're gonna have a Chilling Nay come into effect. Chilling Nay goes into effect, but now you have to worry about that foul play on Gothitelle that did so much damage last time. The gambler in me wanted to see the fissure, you know? You're gonna go down a turn anyways, you're not gonna secure the KO, but maybe you can, maybe you can. Maybe you can, or <laughs> I think you have to play Stomping Tantrum there, because if you click fissure and you miss, now you have a full exactly. HP Calyrex. It was the consistent option, HP. the smart option was yeah. to do that, so props to Rishi, and he's still in an amazing position to close this one out. Only problem is this Coridon gonna be very, very scared of this Glacial Lance. It's gonna still be super effective against it. Yeah, we're gonna see what happens here. Coridon's coming out. I think he's hoping that the foul play from Gothitelle will move first and knock out that glass or that ice rider this turn. That's what we're hoping to see. Could be a protect though, stall it out just a little bit longer. So he gets the Lay of Land, because the Curadon could Terra Fire, and that would make him approach this entirely differently. Yeah, I think you really got to try and stall out as much as possible, see what the Curadon is going to do. Hope that maybe they actually take out the Smeargle for you. The Smeargle just can't do anything here. Yeah, they There's don't the Flare Blitz. 
they don't want to take out the smear girl at this point you want the smear girl just completely useless here just stalling using the fake out unable to even die and it's low enough that it's not even going to be a problem later on no i wonder if we're going to see the double protect or we're just going to commit to the attack i think patrick is going to fully come no he's going to try for the double protect he needs this to go off but what can he do the smear girl isn't going to be doing anything yeah, I mean, we're seeing the true power of Gothitelle as Gothitelle's locked another Pokemon into this battle. And it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful lock as well. There's no good switch out here. The fact that he doesn't have to rely on spread moves here. He has these single target options on Coridon. There's the protect. Double protect oh, fails. did not go through. Fake out fails. Yeah, of course it does. And now a useless turn. There's the collision course. Rishi getting a free turn here. It lifts wow. on one! This Ice Rider refuses to die! There it is. As it falls to foul play. But that Ice Rider does refuses to be knocked out under no. any circumstance. It manages to stay even against the odds. Taunt is down. I actually, actually I think that was worse for Patrick. What? The taunt going Smirkle down? Because now is stuck in. If Collision Course had knocked out Calyrex Ice Rider, Smeargle would have been taken the foul play, probably fallen to foul play. Yeah, yeah, it was worse. And now Blood Moon and Earth. Wow. He's locked in still, but... <laughs> Smeargle oh, wow. is still stuck. Yeah, this Smeargle, sure, it can decorate now. It could maybe get off a spore, but it's not going to be doing anything game-changing here. No, I I think now that uh, the taunt is gone, you just end Smeargle. Or you leave it up and you taunt it again. Because it's going to be a free swing by Rishi on one of your mons you want to be up and healthy. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Are we going to go for the Blood Moon or the Hyper Voice? Hyper Voice, you got to be risking it, though. That's risky. You think you might be able to knock out the Gothadel, but it's Yeah, it's, but you it's leave that Coridon up and standing. Exactly. I don't think the Coridon would... Do you think Coridon would fall to a Blood Moon? I think I it would get know. very low. Blood Moon is a really strong attack. I think it would just get low. I think Coridon is tanky enough to withstand it, but we'll see soon enough. It looks like that's the play he's going to go for. I haven't seen a Coridon enough at, during this tournament for me to make the call on if it will survive or not. So I don't know the damage calcs here. We're going to go for the Hyper Voice. I don't disagree with that. Into the follow me. Coridon use Protect. We're going to see the double Protect. Yeah, will we see it? There's the follow me. No double Protect. Yep. There it is. Taunt. Into the taunt one oh, more time. Oh, wow. That's Smeargle a beautiful block. Smeargle is stuck again. As long as this Gothitelle stays in, if he can resist this Hyper Voice, I think Rishi will have won the game on that play alone. Let's see. There's Hyper no. Voice. Gothitelle goes down. No way to lock this Smeargle in other than trying to get the knockout. Well, no, it can't even get the knockout. The Smeargle is assuredly switching out next turn. Well, it could go for a Decorate, potentially. It could. Let's see. Because you do get the switch in, but do you really want Smeargle to be your last Pokemon? No, I don't think you ever want Smeargle to be your last Pokemon, so that is the risk of can you try and just sacrifice Smeargle to the gods? But that's, that's all single target here, so there's no guarantee unless Rishi wants to make that happen. I think you go for I think you do go for a decorate, get some value, buff up your Blood Moon, and try and go for a big swing. Yeah, I want to look at our speed stats here. Don't expose them. That is, it's cried on a faster Pokemon. So if you do follow me, you actually would pull, not gonna follow me. There's the Urshifu. There's the collision course. That was uh, what I was worried about. I think this might pick up the knockout on. It does. There it is. Yeah, Collision Course, such a strong move. And now this Smeargle being swapped back in at low, low HP. And wow, on the that Urshifu as well. That's going to sting. Yeah, thankfully we're dealing with a single strike Urshifu here. So it's not weak to it, but it's going to take a lot of damage. And I don't know what's possible here. Urshifu can survive another Thunderbolt. I doubt it can survive a Collision Course. This might be Rishi's win in the bag here, but we'll have to see what happens. We shall have to see indeed. This is an absolutely terrible position for Patrick here. He won game one in overwhelming fashion. It looks like Rishi is gonna, looking to do the opposite right here. 
Yeah, that is true. Smeargle was stuck in a taunt. I do wonder if you just sacrifice Smeargle the last turn and you leave it in and just have it do nothing. Even if the well, Blood Moon goes down, you then have a full health Urshifu instead of a half health Urshifu. That's true. This is a very difficult fight to fight, but he's going to keep on trucking here as the collision, the collision course, course is set, and it will get the knockout as well. Super effective. So we will go to a game three for, for what, the third time? Oh, no, second time today. I think the third time. No, I think... No, I, you're right. It was just a long one. It was one. a long game one. Yeah. So game three for the second time today. Chat. Who are we feeling? Are we feeling Patrick or are we feeling Rishi? Who do we think is going to win round three? Let us know. As we get set up here, you have to wonder what changes they'll make. Rishi, I think Gothitelle is the true MVP here on Rishi's team. Again, shutting down Smeargle for so long, Patrick couldn't do anything. Smeargle was stuck. Yeah, I couldn't even decorate because of said taunt before the Gothitelle left. It was just absolutely dead in the water. You had to go for the swap out, but forcing that swap out led it to its death ultimately and it made the Urshfu have to take a hit that it didn't, that it couldn't take. Yeah, and Smeargle isn't faster than Gothitelle, so that's another important piece of information as it couldn't get its fake out first before the fake out into the Ice Rider. I could have sworn, maybe there's a speed tie here because I could have sworn that, that Smeargle's fake out went first last game well i game. don't think gothitelle used fake out last game oh. i think i think in our first game i think gothitelle may have gone for maybe a trick or going for that taunt or the foul player or something to deal with glass or ice rider really early you're, you're probably correct there. this time it just goes for the fake out it's faster than the smear goal and blocks the taunt or blocks the trick room from going up yeah, the taunt shadow tag play is absolutely impressive just realizing that hey this Smeargle, very, very strong in that first game. I absolutely got rolled over by it. What do I have in my kit to cover that? Oh, I have this Gothitelle. I have Taunt. If I taunt it, it can do nothing. It yeah. can't even use Fago. I can't even struggle to get itself out there. Yeah, and that's really the downside of Smeargle. As much as Smeargle is the ultimate support Pokemon, you can only go so far without giving it any attacks where it just sits there. And I think it's interesting to see Gothitelle be such this dominant performer. Last time we saw Gothitelle was honestly when Wolfie brought it to Worlds and won with the Paris Trap team. Now we're seeing Gothitelle run in this totally new style where it's never been used before. And here we got Rillaboom and Gothitelle. Gothitelle taking the lead again. Against the same lead one more time of wow. Smeargle versus Ice Rider. Yeah, there must be a way out that Patrick has surmised because this is, that looked nigh unwinnable. How do you avoid that situation where your Smeargle's smear taunted? Yeah, oh, we'll have to you can't swap out. Here. Maybe you swap, you can't swap because of the shadow tag. Yeah, I said you can't swap out. Oh yeah, you can't you swap can't out. You can't swap out of anything. You're locked into this engagement. So he feels confident enough to maybe hammer this one through. Maybe you spam Glacial Lance and try and just <laughs> go through this Gothitelle wall as soon as you can. I, I wonder if you decorate this turn. You this could, is the true but mind you could... games. It's the mind games of what do you think Gothitelle is going to do? Yeah, does Gothitelle go for the Faco to prevent the Trick Room or does it go for that, that taunt to shut down the smear goal? There's a choice to make here on Rishi's side. Yeah, and I think whatever, like, it really is up to Patrick on how he reads this. The, the ball is in Rishi's court. Patrick has to make the correct read. And the oh, Smeargle flinches, out. and there's the taunt. It doesn't need the fake out either. Wait, it taunted the Calyrex. There's the Glacial Lance though. What's... And it gets the kill on Rillaboom. Gothitelle almost goes down. Gets the crit on Rillaboom. And wow. the crit on Gothitelle. Wow. And I, I have to ask this question. Why was that not swapped around? Why would you not want to taunt the Smeargle and fake out the Calyrex? It was the exact opposite. It was the exact opposite of what we thought would be the most optimal move there. Yeah, but now... It's Coridon. Coridon right takes the field. Do you taunt the wow. Smeargle this turn? You know Trick Room can't go up. What do you do? Hey, you prevent the Trick Room, but in doing so, you don't prevent this Smeargle. And you don't protect this Follow Me. That is crucial. Coridon could Terra. It could Terra Fire, but fire. you know that, that Calyrex is going to Terra Fire soon here anyway. So maybe you just go for the set damage of Collision Course. Yeah, I... 
This is an interesting matchup here. I think Patrick's really got to think about what's he, what he wants to do. Really has to consider his options here. Five seconds going down to the wire. There it is. Going for the Glacial Lance. Here's the Terra. the Terra. Fire. Did he get the correct read? Let's see. Terra Fire cried on. Will there be a Terra right back? If there's not, this Flare Blitz could just knock out this Calyrex. Oh, this will be an incredibly powerful Flare Blitz if it does not, if it does not connect. There is there the Terra is. Fire. So I'm not shocked to see that. Patrick has not been afraid to Terra Fire the Calyrex when the Coridon is up against it. He had the Terrifier regardless here because you don't need that threat of the Glacial Lance oh, with your Dragon typing. So removes that risk and should be able to maybe blast through this. Yeah, got the Teleport Tex. Smeargle uses Follow Me. Smeargle honestly fine with going down at this point. It probably wants to remove itself from the field regardless. It does not want to exist here anymore. There's the Flame Charge. Yeah, gonna get the Speed Boost, but the Trick Room... Trick Room... It's not set up, he cannot because of the, of the taunt. taunt. So he's comfortable getting the extra speed here. So here's the here's the question. Does Glacial Lance knock out? Does it knock out? Gets blocked out by Gothitel. It should Plus not one, with not the fire terror typing. But it's going to do a... Doesn't even do half. Yeah, it does not do much at all. And here's the thing, is this is a... Uh, Glass Shear that does not have Stomping Tantrum, which would probably do a lot to cry on the, uh, at this point. So yeah. I'll have to see what comes out. We actually do not see the um, the Blood Moon. We're seeing for Rigoraf instead in this in this battle. Interesting. And maybe just having that extra flexibility, that taunt, the Trick Room could still come up here. Yeah, Trick Room would still go up. The big factor in losing Smeargle is you do lose that, you do lose that uh, follow me pressure. Exactly, exactly. But you do gain the helping hand and you do gain that trick. And you do prevent that fake out pressure with Armor Tail. Yeah. So, very strong choice to pick up as a support mode. But no, I'm going to go on the aggression here with the Urshifu. Yeah, Urshifu is incredible. Well, threatening the Gothitelle, trying to run out that protect as well. Gothitelle is most likely going down this turn. You would need to get rid of this Gothitelle so you can start switching out more e a little bit more easily. Yeah. Because right now, you're just locked into whatever is out there. Preventing those combos that you so badly want to create. Waiting to see what happens here. Yeah, it is all hands on deck. This is really, again, I think... I think Patrick really holds the keys to what can happen in this battle. There goes Gothitelle. Switching is back available on the field. Who comes out? Ting Lu comes out. Special attack of all surrounding Pokemon. There's the protect from Crydon. Yeah, there it is. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch through. doesn't do Fails. anything because of the protect. Now we see the and Glacial the Lance. Glacial Ting Lu having to eat another Glacial Lance is going to sing. We saw how much I did last time. The crit comes through. That could spell doom. And it and does! It goes down. Not a crit, but at plus wow. one at this point. Oh, you're point. right. I forgot about the plus one from the Nay. This, this is now a plus two Calyrex. Versus a Coridon and a Gothitelle. Yeah, this is looking to be a very dangerous match. Fake out pressure is applied, and there's no swap out into that Frigoraph to prevent it. Yeah, do you Wicked Blow? Do you Sucker Punch? I think I think you have to Sucker Punch and focus on that Coridon. That Coridon has to move this turn. It can't get the double protect. It's probably going to go for the Collision Course into the Calyrex. Does the Collision Course get the knockout? <laughs> can't say it can't the double protect. It's unlikely to, it's unlikely but it to could. Protect. I'd be shocked if we see the double protect. Hey, we might see it. There's Fake Out also coming through. Going for the close combat. There is the fake out. Lance. There's Sucker the sucker punch. punch. Gonna land, doesn't knock out doesn't though. Doesn't pick up the knockout. There's a collision course heading right towards the Urshifu. Gets Urshifu the goes knockout. Down. One hit KO. Now we're just down to the beginning pair we've seen so many times. Actually, no, we got one more in the back for Patrick. Yeah, I think it's just, I think actually it's just for a graph left alive unless Smeargle switched out at some point and I'm forgetting. No, Smeargle is down. It is just for Rigoraf. Here we are. Rigoraf thrown into the mix now. 
Trick Room is able to be set up by this Fergaraf, and I think that, honestly, could win the entire game right there. Yeah, the question, yeah, ugh. Wait, Trick Room is still up, no? Trick Room is not up. I don't think Trick Room ever went up. Oh. So the question is, you got foul play. You have to be careful of foul play. If I think foul play knocks out Ice Rider, I don't know. I don't think Collision Course would. Not in one shot. I think it could get it very low, but I don't think it would be a one shot KO. You're gonna have to go for the double strike here, I think. There yep, it is. There's, there's the collision, the collision course. course. Into the ice rider. Does it get the knockout? It does not. Doesn't it's even halfway. do half. There's the foul play. God the tell is faster. It oh, doesn't pick up the kill. No. Ice rider lives for one more time. Psychic lands. Psychic lands. Right on. This is looking to be it. Patrick Chang looking to win it all right here with one last Glacial Lance. There it is. That is assuredly going to land. And oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. Your winner is Patrick Chang. What an incredible matchup that was. What an incredible matchup indeed. The Smeargle plays by Rish, or the, the Gothito plays against Smeargle by Rish in game two were absolutely amazing to watch. But the pivot by Patrick in the next game was amazing as well. And I don't want to knock any of these players' decisions because they're thinking at such a high level. Maybe there's something I'm not considering here. But... That beginning turn for Rishi, if I feel like if he faked out the other one and taunted the Smeargle, things could have gone a lot differently. Yeah, I think that's a I think that's an interesting point. I think it was a great game by both of them, but really I think that's the power of Glass of Ice Rider, is once it gets up and rolling, it is very hard to stop. Its defense is so high and it gets those attack boosts. There's really not much you can do against it, so we'll have to see if Rishi can bounce back and maybe we see him later in the finals today. Exactly, we're seeing so much horsepower on display here today. We're seeing both riders just in full effect and even Rishi with these amazing plays with shutting down its opponent, it was still effective to operate on its own. It could set Trick Room up on its own, and get itself in a position where it can start taking these first turns and start rolling over its opponents. Yeah, honestly, I think Again, I think Ice Riders won every match today. I think so, every time we've seen it. But it's gone far. People are waking up, having some counterplay against it. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how players overdapt and overcome. And again, all the different Terras on the Ice Horse. I think Ice Rider currently is the MVP for today. Smeargle also a very fun pick in that battle. So far, so far. We haven't seen some other teams. So we're going to see it going into the next round to see if that will stay consistent. Thank you very much. But we're going to have to throw it to a quick break. We'll be right back with more Pokemon Battles.